Here we are, the Body Coach TV. Thank you for joining me today for this workout. You're obviously up for a challenge, you saw the title, you thought I'll have a bang on that. And this is gonna be a 20 minute advanced level dumbbell pit workout. Now there's 35 seconds on each exercise, followed by 25 seconds rest. We need one pair of dumbbells and there's 20 moves in total. So it's 20 moves, 20 minutes. All I want from you is a good tempo, really high energy, but good form and technique. So pick a weight that's gonna challenge you, but not buckle you, okay? So I'm using a pair of tens, 10 kilograms in each hand, and that's perfect for me with this workout. And what I want is as much effort as you can for 35 seconds. The first move, one dumbbell in each hand. We're gonna start off by doing a reverse lunge, so single reverse lunge, alternating. When you've done the reverse lunge, we come forward into one bicep curl, okay? So lunge, lunge, bicep curl, repeat that for 35 seconds. Here we go guys, let's do it. So 35 seconds, lunge, lunge, feet together, just a nice curl, rotate, back to the centre. Repeat. So every move is different, and what I'm trying to do here is to smash every muscle that we can using these dumbbells in this 20 minute time frame. Alright, so getting those nice deep lunges, controlled bicep curl, and repeat. Last 10 seconds, then we have a 25 second recovery window just to catch our breath, so set the dumbbells down. Good, nice little start there. Just to fire us up. Next exercise, we're going to do single, basically single arm thruster. So it's one dumbbell uh, in, on the right side, so right hand, squat down low, drive up high. So 35 seconds on the right, then we switch, 35 seconds on the left. Again, choosing that weight, I'm using the same, but if you are, use a weight that's going to push you. Let's go. I'm going to drive up, squat, drive. So you wrap it in that front rack position. And then it's kind of like shoulder press sort of thing at the top. <sighs> Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I do love my YouTube channel. I post a workout every week. I get millions of people doing it. It really, yeah, it feels good. Because I'm obviously now on my own in front of the camera, struggling with you. But I love reading the comments. I love seeing the, the impact it has on people and the fact that it's free, it's completely free. And I really want it to be like that. I make it. I make it accessible because I want it to be, to be available you know, to anyone, regardless of where you live, your situation. We can always find those sort of 20 minutes at home. Just one pair of dumbbells, excuse me, and have a really great workout in our home. So next up, same exercise, left side. Nice deep breaths, get as low as you can with that squat, and then pressing up with a shoulder press. Come on, squat down, drive up. My technique is everything with this, right? Get really low, drive through the heels, arm comes up. Drive through the heels. That's it. Strong legs, strong powerful arms. 15 seconds, and then we're gonna be picking up both dumbbells in the next move. Deep, and drive. Final rep, and rest. Okay, we're going to now go into the high plank position. Feet are wider than the mat. Dumbbells in the centre. And from there, we're going to row the dumbbell up, trying to avoid any rotation through the hips or engage the core, use the upper back. So row that weight up towards your hip. Repeat. Here we go. So the dumbbells are slightly narrower than your legs. Form that sort of tripod. Pull, centre. Pull, good. Really strong, engage the core. And use the abs, use the abs. 10 seconds. Oh, feel this in the core now. It's really, really working it. And relax. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're actually going to go playing with the dumbbells, so I think these are called devil presses. So we're going to put dumbbells on the ground, we're going to drop down, test the floor, push up, and then swing and press. Okay, so you've got to land in between the dumbbells, swing between the legs, up into that sort of press. So from there, jump, swing them up, and straight up. Repeat. So 
touch the floor. Come up, swing, straight up. Come up, swing, repeat. Whoa. Yep, this is a very tough exercise. Let's do a couple more. Oh, 100 minutes one. Oh, that takes out, isn't it? Recover. Next exercise, we're just going to do alter alternating bicep curl. Okay, so this bicep curl, one on each hand. All right, here we go, let's dumb that. So just sing along, rotate the dumbbell as you curl up. This is number six, here we go, number six is 20. Stay with me now, strong. You might find some exercises you're obviously stronger in than like the other. So if you have got two pairs of dumbbells, you want to do a light and heavy, that also works. But I'm just trying to demo it with one set that just gives you the full, the full pump. <sighs> Nearly there. 10 seconds on the clock. Then we're actually going to go into another upper body exercise. We're going to hit the shoulders now. So we're going to do overhead shoulder press just with one thumb on each hand. So we're going to be pressing from here. We're going to press one. Two, so one at a time, nice and controlled, hitting the shoulders. Grab a quick drink, guys, if you've got one. Enjoy the recovery. We're going again, we're doing great. So one arm, one thumb on each hand, we press up. This shoulder's a bit tight at the moment, but we feel we can. Okay, let's go. So press up, back. You've got a really tight rotator cuff on his left, right side of this. It's really hanging around. <sighs> Having a bit of a punch on that, but it doesn't seem to release. It's annoying me. It's like press and down. Almost there. Right, last 10 seconds. Couple more reps on each arm. Come on. Strong shoulders now. Drive up. Last one on each side. Left and right. Yeah, that right shoulder. It doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to move, actually. It makes it not gliding. Does that mean? It's like getting caught sort of thing. Oh, I hate that, I've had the ninja. This is the first shoulder I've had, it's been about four months. Right, now we're gonna pick up these weights. We're gonna squat down with the weights beside us. We're gonna squat down, come up, hammer curl, down. So tuck the floor with them and curl, off we go. So narrow squat into curl. Narrow squat into curl. I'm trying to get those weights on the floor. Hammer curl, there's no rotation, I'm just hammering them. Then he's coming bang, straight up. Hit the quads, stand, biceps, quads, biceps, quads. Uh, 10 seconds, I'm going to go down on the ground for some push ups. You can use your dumbbells if you want, or just have your hands on the ground. So if you like having that to hold on to, obviously you can do your push-ups off the dumbbells. If not, just go on the hands, even full push-ups or push-ups on the knees. I'm gonna go on the dumbbells, it feels nice on the shoulder. I think I'm gonna angle them slightly, trying to get my chest down, press up. Here we go. So the chest and floor, low you can, press up. So what I just want is just control push-ups. I don't mind if you're on your knees, just slowly down, control the way up and down. Ugh. I have to really build the strength from these triceps and pecs. Even having that little pause at the top just to feel the tension in your triceps and your chest makes it harder. And again, slow it down, right down. And press. Okay, give me one more push up. Slower. Last one to finish. Down. And press. Excellent. Oh. We're doing fantastic. Right up on our feet. We, we keep going. We keep working. We're gonna do some curtsy lunges now. So that's when you step back with the legs, sort of come back across the body. So curtsy lunge, nice straight back. Oh, bending that back knee, dropping it right down if you can. Hand the elbows by your side. Let's go. So left leg, out to the right. 
So they come back and across the body. Like you're gonna curtsy, just target the legs in a slightly different way. Oh, doing great. Come on, stay with me. Let's push. Get down low. Drive through the heel of that front foot. Drive through the heel. We've got 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right. Good news, that's 10 moves complete. We're halfway through the workout. Have another sip of water. One of my favourite quotes here, that power, sorry, exercise is power. And this one, do something that your future self will thank you for. I keep seeing these, it's reminding me why we keep going. Right, next exercise, front squats. One dumbbell in each hand, front squat through the quads. Let's go. So we're front squatting. Low, drive through those heels. Come on. Again, you can slow it down as well. It's not like a rush lift to just drop into it. The more control, the more time and attention, the harder that starts to feel on those quads. Come on, push through the heels. Push through the heels, good. 10 seconds. Last one. That feels well heavy when you stand down. Does not get easy, does it? Okay, recover. Next thing I want to do is a push press. So like a little bounce of the legs with the shoulder. So we're not going to squat down low or do a strict shoulder press. A little kind of bounce. So push. Yeah, let's go. Just use that little bounce to drive up. Close. Dumbbells above the head. Push, press, push. Ah. So we're getting the legs a little bit involved. Just taking that momentum and driving those arms up. Mm. Ah. Oh, it's getting hard. Ah. Last 10 seconds, come on. Press, push, press. Ah. Ah. Last one. Oh. Okay, give that shoulder a rest. Shoulder rest. Oh. It's getting a little bit spicy now. Next exercise, we're actually going to do a burpee deadlift. So we're just going to kick the legs back, I'm not going right to the ground, just kick back into the plank, jump forwards, and from there, deadlift. Okay, off we go. So, one, two, three. So using those, you know, hamstrings and glutes to pull yourself up. Kick out, forward, and pull. Ah, out, jump forward, and pull those hamstrings and glutes. 15 seconds. Ah. Oh, I'm sweating now. It's getting me. Last one. Out, up, and. Oh, we're doing well, it's getting spicy now. So next one, you feel a little bit mad. I'm actually going to run up and down the spot with one dumbbell on each hand. So basically, one dumbbell on each hand. I'm just going to run on the spot. Four. Okay, let's go. Run on the spot. You know, I'm just staying straight. It's a bit more powerful than those calves. And just keep jogging. Jog it out. Come on, jog it out. We're not holding up here, just hang down. Let's go jogging on the spot. 10 seconds. Let's make it tough on the legs, come on. Hold on to those weights. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, that made that a bit tough, didn't it? We're on form, we're doing great. Six more moves. Okay. Next exercise. Again, one down on each hand. We're actually gonna do a side sort of lunge. Out to the side, if you can touch the dumbbells on the floor, back to the center. So just right legs going out. We'll do 35 seconds on the right side, 35 on the left. 
So you can angle the dumbbell slightly until they hit the floor, drive through that right leg, back to the center. Let's build strong glutes and thighs. So her arms hang down, drive back to the middle. Come on, we do this side, we rest, we get the left side. Last rep. And recover, thumbs down. Oh, that's tough. You feel that right there in the thigh and the glute. We do the left side. Five more minutes to go. Good session, really intense. No messing about. Getting it done, you're doing really well. Keep it up. Don't stop yet. If you need to miss one out, fine. But let's just finish that last exercise together. As we step out, weights hit the floor, back to the center. That's it. You might find that one side is you know, weaker than the other, I find it hard on my left side. So I can feel the weakness in that leg. It's not strong. Step. Try and get those dumbbells really light again. Obviously, if you go flat with them on the floor like this, that's as low as you're going. That is really hard. If you just tap, tap on the tops, it's not as deep. A bit shallower. Ah. In like that side. Oh. Right. We're actually going to be using both dumbbells here and we're going to be doing a squat curl press. We're going to combine three moves. So one dumbbell on each hand, squat curl press. So we squat down first, squat, curl, press. Now repeat, squat. Press, repeat, squat, curl, ah, love it, come on, ah, drive up. It's number 17 of 20, last 10 seconds, ah, drenched in sweat now, last one, final rep, curl and press. Ah. Ah. Okay, so we're now going to do an upper body exercise. If you haven't got the hex dumbbell and you find it hard to do this, just go on the, just go on the ground and do it from there. So it's going to be four mountain climbers into one push-up, okay? So four mountain climbers, one push-up, but slow. Let's go. So it's one, two, three, four, one push-up. Repeat. One. Two, three, four, press, repeat. One, three, four, press, push. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Last one. One, two, three, four. Final push up, super slow rep. Super slow. Ooh. And rest. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm drenched, drenched in sweat. Okay, for this last one, what we're gonna do is a goblet squat. Just one dumbbell for this, because I want a bit of speed on these ones. So we're gonna pump them up, narrow, so wide stance. Dumbbell close to the chest, and let's go pump. Good, one, two, three, come on. Four, sit into that chair. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on. So this is the trick. Here's the catch. For the last ten seconds, we're going to go and hold. Okay, so we go down and hold. Now hold. Hold it. Hold it. Eight, seven, hold. Drive the knees out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. Oh. 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 Final move, are you ready? This one's going to suck. So kind of like that first exercise we've done, devil press. We go down, come on. We swing, we squat and then press. Okay, so go down, chest to floor. Jump up, swing them up, 
We do a squat, then the press. There we go, repeat that. Press the floor, jump up, swing into the front squat, squat, drive up. Final move, final exercise, 15 seconds. Come on, swing, squat, drive, down, last rep. Final move, final round. Up, come up, come on, swing, squat. Brutal. That finisher was really tough. Well done for getting through that. 20 minute workout. Lots of energy burn, heart rate is high. Remember, please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Every time I share a new workout on here, you'll be notified by email. Great little reminder to pump you and nudge you back into a workout. Hope you enjoyed it guys, thanks for joining me. Remember if you want to check out more of my workouts and my online fitness app, check out thebodycoach.com to do a three week trial of my amazing app, which is tailored workouts to your fitness level, tailored meal plans, online support, amazing Facebook community. It's a really amazing product where you sort of work through each cycle, you've got the accountability, and it really keeps you on your journey to get stronger. It's amazing. Check it out. If not, I'm always here. You know that. I love my YouTube channel. I ain't gonna give up on it. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Well done.